Yo, my name is Benjamin, and in this video, I'm excited to introduce CMS pagination. Here's how it works. I have two collection lists here. This one is limited to the last item. And this is my main collection list with all other posts. And we might think these are too many items to load in at once, and we would like a little pagination, which is especially useful when you have hundreds of items as that can make your site much slower to load. To add pagination, I can click on our collection list, head over to the property panel and click add. And this allows me to pick between infinite scroll and a load more button. I'll go with load more first. And here we can select how many items we would like to show initially as well as how many items we would like to load whenever you click load more. Framer has automatically added a load more button to our collection list. Clicking this will now load the next four items. This button is just a component with variants and the variants are mapped to the actual loading state and the hidden state here. And we can double click on the button to customize these variants. For example, we could change the fill color here to be a bit more subtle. And we could assign a textile to have it match a bit more with my blog demo. Then I'd like to customize the padding just a little bit to have it vertically centered. And then revert that on the loading state. And there we go, some light customization. It's also worth pointing out that this spinner is completely customizable as well. It has an appear effect by default, set to 0.3 seconds. This makes sure that if your content loads really fast, like on our lightweight demo, you don't see a flash of a spinner. While on slow connections, the spinner will appear as you would expect. The spinner itself is just a conic gradient with a mask, and a loop effect. This means you can customize every single detail from its size to its color and its animation speed. Next, we can go back to our homepage. Now by default, the spacing between the last item and your load more button is dictated by the gap value of your collection list. However, you can also add more spacing either within the component or around the component. For example, I can right click, add a stack, and then add some top padding. This does mean that this spacing is always there, even when there are no more posts to load. To avoid this, we can bake it into the component, which we'll do for the spinner in a little bit. But first, let's give this a preview. As we scroll down, we get our button. And when clicked, we instantly get the next batch of items. So the load more button is easy to add, fully customizable and makes your sites faster to load. Next, infinite scrolling. I'll head over to the pagination property and I'll select it in the menu. And this adds a spinner instead of a button. When using infinite scrolling, it's recommended to not have any footer or contents below your spinner to avoid a cumulative layout shift penalty, which is a metric that's a part of Google's core web vitals. You can learn more about this on our site, but for now I'll simply remove the footer. Then I'll select my desktop breakpoint, add some bottom padding, and then let's double click into the loading spinner. This one is fully customizable as well. And just like the spinner in the button, here we've also added a 0.3 second fade in effect. This ensures that your spinner doesn't flash when your content loads in very quickly. Next, I'll select the variant, flip the direction and set distribute to end. This allows us to change the height while the spinner remains docked to the bottom effectively allowing us to bake in some top spacing. Now, when we scroll towards the bottom of our page, 
the next four items will load automatically. And while this may be a bit hard to see in our demo here, as the new items load in so quickly, this will have a huge impact on sites with dozens or hundreds of items, as adding any form of pagination to those pages will make your sites much faster to load. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.